My interest in the idea of theater and war began over a decade ago in northern Uganda. And since then, my work as a theater maker and researcher has taken me to Guatemala, Northern Ireland, Rwanda, Kashmir, Nagaland, and many other places. It's these experiences that form the crux of this book, and through the use of autoethnography, I hope to present my readers with theoretical and practical strategies for creating and researching theater in places of war. From all my experiences in the field, it's Rwanda and Kashmir that mostly dominate my writing in this book. Rwanda being one of my first initiatives and one in which I think I made many naive mistakes. Kashmir being my most recent initiative in which I think I'm making better informed mistakes. Autoethnography is what most defines this work. This book is not only about making theater, it's about making theater as a woman, as an Indian woman, as an extremely privileged Indian woman. This book is not only about war, it's about how I encounter war as an outsider, as someone who has the resources to leave when the gunshots commence, as someone who, despite the ethical minefields of this work, cannot think of any other way to engage than through the theater. This book is written with subjectivity, and I cannot claim that in any way it presents a one-size-fits-all list of strategies for making theater in places of war, but I do think that there are some lessons shared here, some insights from my last decade of trial and error, insights that, if nothing else, might enable other theater in war researchers and practitioners to make different mistakes than my own.